Now Ink Products has just released its newest chip resetter for the Canon 270 and 271 cartridges. Now this will do a total of 20 cartridge sets resets which is a total of a hundred resets. Some of the older blue models or the ones that some people sell only do 70. This will do a hundred. Pick the right insert that you want standard USB cable, you know, printer cable, no battery to worry about, plug it in, 20 sets, that's like two years of cartridges. Take the cartridge, now it's got two little pins on each side, they're going to slide right in, okay, when that turns green, that'll go solid red, that chip has been reset only reset these chips when you see the red X not the low ink warning or half empty don't do it then because then you're just wasting a reset wait till you see the red X it says up oh, it's full now in the rest of the video I'm going to show you how simple it is to fill them fill the Canon cartridges you're going to get everything in the kit you have the Allen wrench it, now these are stainless steel, these are to seal the hole where you're going to fill it. Now the reason why we use stainless steel is so they don't rust. Now you have to use this because if you use a plug, it sticks up and then the printer will jam up. So we put that in, we've been using these for years and it will seal the little hole. But like I said, you're going to get everything, you get the chip resetter, you get everything it takes. Uh, you can purchase the ink separately or if you have your own ink, you can use your own ink. Now basically what I want to do is I put the orange clip on. I reset the chip and I take and I put the orange clip on. Now right below this little area here, this little area that they got, there's a, a little ball underneath there. We're going to take that ball out. Now some people try to push it in, but you can damage the, the cartridge. So what you want to do is just pull that label apart away here and then you can see it's right there. So then I take the drill and I go in on an angle. I just get it started because what I'm trying to do is I'm drilling into it. I want to pop that. I want to pop it right on out. There you go. You'll get it. Just take your time it in there. There you go. I took it out. Sometimes you get a little of that label material out of the way. You don't need that again. Now you have the 332nd set screw that fits right by the hole. Now it's actually going to tap itself right on in. So I can take it in and out as many times as needed to refill. Now the chip resetter will do 20 sets of cartridges. That's a lot of cartridges. Usually by that time the cartridge itself is worn out. So it's time to get a, a new chip resetter and a new set of Canon cartridges. Okay, now you're going to get a little long extended tip. It's going to go right on there and there fill that up. Very simple to do. Now if you don't want to get any ink on your hands, then what you want to do is in the kit we give you a set of latex rubber gloves. Then you're going to go in, just slowly fill it. Give it a second, wait, because it's got to be absorbed into the fiber sponge area. So just take your time. If you fill it too quick, you won't get enough ink in there. It, it, Right now you want to take a little extra time, especially on the black because it's a lot bigger. Just take your time. There, see it came up? Give it a second. Let it come back down again. Try it again. See it come up? Let it go down. Take your time. Now when it doesn't go back down again, that's time for me to stop. 
So that means it's taken all. Say it. It's taken all of it. But like if you stopped when you saw that come to the top, that wouldn't be enough ink. I can fill these up a lot more than Cannon puts in there, that's for sure. I just like I said, <clears throat> excuse me, let it sit. And when I see, start to see bubbles, then I know. So I think that's enough. Yeah, when you start to sit, then you can take this because you already tapped it, so it should go right on in. You tap, you know, use the screw to tap that hole. There you go. You want to flush. So it can't jam on the inside the printer. There it is. Now, take a paper napkin, pull the tab off the front, take it out, and check for excessive leaking. There you go. That's the way it should work. Now you can put it in. The chip's been reset, it's been refilled, that's how simple it was. So when you go to Ink Products, you can buy the whole kit with all the tools and how to do it.